Another diagnostic tool on a Royal Merlin Ford drink bending machine is actually the drop sensor adjustment. Now, if I've spoken in my other videos, I'll link above here, about how the drop system works or the vent detection system in a Royal Merlin Ford works is that there's actually a sensor that sits on the underside of this delivery chute that picks up the vibrations of the products dropping onto that chute. Now that would trigger the board to let it know that a product has been vended or if it needs to flag that selection is sold out and give the customer their change back or allow them to make another selection. Now from time to time that sensor will need to be adjusted. Uh, one way you'll know that it needs to be adjusted is that you have the product full of drinks, uh, this, you're, it's vending, you hear the motor turning, you've tested ended the motor and it's turning, but whenever the products just shift, it's triggering the sensor. That would be if you have a full load of product in there, the doors close, and just the shifting of the product as the rotor comes around, the cradle comes around to collect the next drink, that shifting uh, actually triggers a false positive on the drop sensor. So at that point, you might want to make an adjustment on the drop sensor. And the adjustment's very easy done. So there's uh, two things at play here. We're just going to be checking. There's a sensor light. We can actually see a light on the control board that will blink every time this drop sensor is triggered or activated. So again, we can tap on that to see if this light blinks. Now, where that light's located, is on the main control board on this particular machine. It's on the upper left-hand corner of the control board. And it's usually down at the very bottom corner of the actual drop sensor. Matter of fact, written on the board, if you can see it, it actually says LED1. And the pentometer, or the adjustment device, is always below the little LED light. So again, this LED light will blink every time uh, the drop sensor is triggered. So we're gonna adjust that. So to adjust it, you're gonna need a skinny or small fine flathead screwdriver and I'm going to go to the pentometer and I'm going to go ahead and turn this. So I'm going to turn this clockwise. Now turning it clockwise is basically making it more sensitive and then turning it anti-clockwise will make the thing less sensitive. So in the manual, because I know everyone reads the manual, the default setting for this is actually going to be what they call one and a half turns away from your set point uh, in, a, in a roundabout way. So where do we find our set point? So to do that, we're going to turn the pentometer clockwise. Let's go ahead and do that now. Say so turn the pentometer clockwise until the red light comes on. All right, so the red light is on, so I'm going to back away. So the red light LED light is on on the control board. Now I'm going to turn it anti-clockwise until the red light just goes out. Okay. All right. So now the LED light is just out. That is my set point. So from here, I know if I turn one and a half rotations anti-clockwise from here, I will be at the default setting according to the manual. So I'm going to turn, there's a half, there's another half, and the third half there. So I'm one and a half rotations out from the set point or anti-clockwise. So from here, I can do some test fins and make sure that problem has been resolved that I had. Now, if I wanted to make it more sensitive, I would turn it clockwise. If I needed to make it less sensitive, I could turn it anti-clockwise. Um, turning it more sensitive maybe work for sometimes you would have a bottle that's kind of soft. Uh, water bottles uh, come to mind a lot here. A lot of the 16 point ounce water bottles are very soft. So when they fall onto the chute, it's kind of like jelly landing on the chute. Just bleh, it doesn't make a, a good vibration on there. So making the sense, uh, the drop sensor a little bit more sensitive may pick up that, but we don't want to make it too sensitive where we start generating false positives. So you got to find that balance. Again, this is where that test bend function will come into play here where you can actually test the motors with the door open. So that right is actually how you adjust the drop sensor on a Royal Merlin 4 control board. <laughs>